hi so this week i've been thinking about making a cold frame the, all the seedlings i planted a few weeks ago they've come on really nicely under my grow lights but i've only got so many window sills and i'm running out of room now up until now i've just been planting some snapdragons aubergines and chilies the snapdragons are coming along really nicely but I need the space now on my window sills because I've got to start planting. I've got some spinach, cauliflower, some spring onions and some lettuces. I want to get those going. And so I need to think about the next step for my little seedlings. Now, to put them outside, I need a cold frame. And what I've decided to do this week is using the wood that I've got left over from the free gift I was given. I'm going to try and knock together a little cold frame. I've had a little scramble around on Facebook Marketplace and found some polycarbonate sheeting that was free. So I'm going to use that for the lid. I've got some that I'm going to put around the sides as well. Um, not the best DIY skills in the world, but I'm going to give it a go, see what I can put together. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to start in a couple of weeks, putting them out, putting my seedlings outside for a few hours in the day just to start hardening them off. So that is my plan for today. So this is the wood that I've got left and um, I've been round to my good old dad's and together we've sawed them to the right sort of lengths and then I picked up this big sheet of polycarb for free. So I'm going to plan is make a little frame, pop a hinge on that for the lid and I've got some more polycarbonate that I'm going to put around the sides so that I get as much light as possible. If you've watched one of my other videos, you might see the drill that I've used it was an antique. It's absolutely gorgeous little relic. And here it is. Check this out. What a beauty. Anyhow, in the name of safety, I've had a bit of an upgrade. And now I've got this. So this is what I'm going to be using today. I think this is a safer option all round. So I am definitely not a carpenter, but this is how I've constructed it. So I've used three little planks at the back and then just created this little frame with these inside to make it a bit more rigid. And then I just need to make a little lid with the polycarbonate, which I'll attach up this end with a couple of hinges. Um, I feel like it should be sloped, but um, that's probably beyond my capabilities. So this is what it's going to be like.
I have no carpentry skills, but I've cobbled it together. No plan, winging it as I went along. So I've got acrylic on all three sides to let in the light. I wasn't going to tackle that with a saw to strain it up because I've got all my fingers and I want to keep it that way. And a hinge lid. So I think that would do the job. Considering it was all free, that's not a bad effort. It's a bit wonky, but um, I think that would do the job. It's not a bad afternoon's work. So in this tray, I have um, two different types of chilies and some aubergines, which are doing okay. Over here, I've got sweet peas and verbena cuttings that I took from last year's plant. I have lots and lots of snapdragons that are doing really well. They've come up really nicely. Um, there's a mix. There's some white ones in there called Royal Bride, I think. And the other ones are Madam Butterfly and they're mixed colours. Now, this window gets the most sunlight. So the snapdragons up here, have, they've really gone for it. Look, they're going to be so good. But anyhow, I'm now running out of window space and I, I've got so many flowers, I need to think about some veg. So I'm quite pleased with how the little cold frame turned out. It's a little bit wonky and I probably will have to straighten it up because I'm a bit OCD and it will drive me mad seeing the lid of it looking so wonky, but I will fix that. I'm pleased with how the snapdragons are coming along and the few vegetables that I've started, but as you can see, I'm a bit unbalanced I've got far too many flowers really so the plan is I'm going to start sewing up a few more seeds that are, are vegetables I'll show you the ones I'm going to use so I'm going to plant these this weekend go for some cauliflower some salad french beans spring onion and I'm going to start my basil off however these also say they can be started off indoors so I've now got to decide which things I'm going to start sewing because I've only got four window sills I can I can use and I've only got two heat mats so I'm gonna to have to make a tough choice is it gonna be them or is it gonna be them I don't know so what I haven't shown you is my other stash of flower seeds I've got about 10 more packets of seeds over there they can't be sown until at least March and I've got quite a few dahlia tubers as well. I'm so excited about the flowers, I can't tell you. I'm either gonna have to get a second allotment purely for flowers, or the one that I've got is probably gonna end up at this rate, like a 50-50 mix of flowers and fruit and vegetables. So one's to feed the tummy, the other's to feed the soul. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up with just flowers up there. But no, I will, I'll keep focused. I will plant green things. I am going to plant the green things, definitely something something to eat. Anyhow, that's that's what I'm doing this week. I'm gonna crack on and start planting up the salad veggies over there, and that'll be me for this week. Thanks for listening in to my little video journal. I do appreciate everyone who's subscribed, and I really like your advice and tips. Please let me know if I'm being crazy putting the snapdragons out. Um, it's south of England, it's about 10 degrees this week. Perhaps if I put them out in the day and put them in the garage in the evening, that might work. Please let me know. Share your advice. You, those of you with a lot more experience than me, I do appreciate it. Anyway, have a lovely weekend. Happy gardening.